This holiday season, the Ravens still suck. Here we go. Throws it over the middle. The pass is it. caught. It. He got He's to it. the goal. And touchdown! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Nine seconds left. And Antonio Brown wills himself across the chop. You've got to be kidding me. Wow, what a finish. That might win them the division. Well executed. All right, Steelers Nation, you got the best Christmas gift possible. Not only a victory over the Baltimore Ravens, but a title and a ticket to the playoffs right here at Heinz Field in several weeks from now. We don't know whether it'll be the Dolphins or the Kansas City Chiefs, but one thing is sure, this team is healthy and this team is on the rise. Coach Tomlin was in a great mood this week. Why shouldn't he be? He had a great, 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 Christmas, and he was in a good mood this week, but the old tanker still had some questions for him. And I'll be happy to address any questions you might have at this time. Coach, that was definitely a December to remember. What's the biggest adjustment you made, whether it be defensively or offensively, to get on this win streak? You know, um, I, I think our guys just embrace certain elements of December ball that will probably be, be unchanged regardless of how the game of professional football evolves. And that's, we ran the ball effectively and largely we, we did a nice job of stopping the run. And uh, that puts you in position to win possession downs and keep the chains moving and scoring points on offense. And that puts you in position to win possession downs and create splash uh, on defense. And uh, it's important that you continually evolve in those, in those areas over the course of the season. Uh, they're usually things that occur that that are potentially capable of derailing that agenda, uh, injury and so forth. Uh, but largely, our guys remain steadfast to that plan. Uh, we continue to grow in those areas over the course of the season, even at times where it appeared that that growth was minimal or there was no growth. And uh, I think it was revealed and revealed in a big way um, in December. Deal. Some players have spoken out strongly disagreeing with, with comments that Terry Bradshaw made about you. What does that mean to have locker room support like that? You know, I appreciate the support, uh, but, but criticism and critique are, are very much a part of our business, and it, it's an element of our business that, that as a competitor, I embrace. Um, you know, the term great is something that I have a great deal of respect for. Um, I certainly don't think that uh, my resume to this point reads as great, um, but, but very few coaches' uh, resumes read is that, at this point. Uh, Guys like Bill in New England probably can say that or a pop down in San Antonio, but I think the rest of us are, are just working stiffs, to be quite honest with you. Um, now, that being said, uh, terms like cheerleader guy, um, to me, uh, maybe fall outside the bounds of critique or criticism. Uh, they probably fall more into, toward the area of, of disrespect and unprofessional. Um, but what do I know? You know, I grew up a Dallas fan, you know, particularly a Hollywood Henderson fan. <laughs> coach, your background as a defensive coach, how involved are you with the defense? Do you find yourself spending Coach, your background as a defensive coach, how involved are you with the defense? Do you find yourself spending more time with those coaches and those players? You know, um, over the course of 10 years that I've been here, um, it just depends on when you ask me. Um, I go where I'm needed, to be honest with you. Um, I've moved around um, in all of the three phases now as I look back the last 10 years, and, uh, but, but that's the job. Um, it's our job to get these guys ready to go. Um, I have the latitude and ability based on position to, to work in all areas and I'm willing to and do. What do you think the most important thing you've learned in the last 10 years is in the whole broad spectrum wow. of everything? <laughs> you guys know I'm not real, I'm not, I'm not real reflective. Um, I don't have the answer to that. You know, um, I'm just trying to do what's, what, what we need to do today and in terms of getting us prepared to go into this stadium to, to play the Browns. Mike, a great, great play to, to win the game with nine seconds left with Ben and A.B. <clears throat> it's a situation there where if he doesn't get in, it's possible you don't get another playoff. When you, after you congratulate the guys going forward, is there a teaching moment there where you say, you know, we want to be able to get two or three plays off, we need to get that ball into the end zone uh, on the pass, or do you just say, hey, you got it done, that's enough? Um, the teachable moment is that in, in the most adverse circumstances, you go with what you know and what you're comfortable with, and, you know, 
All other variables aside, uh, that's a high, high frequency play for us in that area of the field, thrown to a guy that we got great confidence in. Um, so uh, I'm not going to second guess. Um, that's what it is we did. Um, we, we felt comfortable with that play being able to work regardless of what our opponent did uh, because we got that level of comfort in that play, that level of understanding in that play, and that level of uh, comfort in the men uh, that were called on specifically to execute that play. Hey you, I was just talking to my good friend Art Rooney and guess what? We decided to give you your very own Shinesti.com, Shinesti.com Steeler suit, complete with jacket, tie, yellow pants. You're going to look sharp, sweetheart. But guess what? Only one lucky winner will win the free Steeler shoot from Shinesti.com. That sounds great, Tank. Tell me how to win. It's easy, Buttercup. Go to Facebook, like our page, Pittsburgh Sports Talk, Pittsburgh Sports Talk on Facebook. Just like us, share some of our videos. And at the end of the Steelers season at the Super Bowl in Houston, let's hope, I'm going to choose one lucky viewer who likes our Facebook page, Pittsburgh Sports Talk, and you're going to win your very own Steelers tie, jacket, pants from Shinesti.com. Right, Art?